Looks like we're getting some rush hour. Yeah, I know. Friday a little early. Yeah, I did. I'm kind of used to this uh, more in the directions leaving the military bases at this time. Oh, yeah. Like Not for that, everybody that else, six though. Six to two shifts and stuff? Yeah, exactly. Are we all know? used to get off at 1430. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you out now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been out since uh, 2017. Oh, shit. I can't believe how time goes by. Damn, dude. I just started training on uh, the military base again because it's got. We've always had such a badass gym on Coronado, and I didn't realize, being a disabled vet, that I had all that access. So, I just go back to North Island to train. No shit. Seven years later, and it's. Do you live in Coronado? No, no, no. I, I live in like the Mission Hills area. Yeah, that, yeah, that's where we're going. Yeah. Um. Kind of in between Mission Hills and University Heights, really. Yeah, got you. For me. Cool. Um. So, what are you doing? As far as uh, well, since you left, the, were you a Marine? No, I was Navy. Yeah. Yeah, I worked on the aircraft carriers on Coronado for the first part, and then after an accident, it had me uh, at a, like a medical, like a limited duty command. What happened? I was in a pretty bad car accident. I was a passenger. Uh, we were getting ready for deployment, and somehow my buddy lost control of the car, and we ended up in a guardrail at about 80 miles an hour. Oh, probably closer to 60 by the time we were done spinning. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's when I got that nice scar on my right arm. The whole side of my body was crushed in because it was on the right side where it came uh, through. But hey, I'm, I'm running around, so, you know, count my blessings. Yeah. What, did you break some shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, my pelvis was snapped in half. Damn, dude. Double spinal fracture, broken arm. What? My knee was crushed. You're lucky to be alive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the doctor after the fact said there were two things that saved me. One, I was still relaxed from having just woken up. And two, I was reclined back in the front seat sleeping. Whoa. If I had been upright and my upper body took the force of that guardrail, it probably would have killed me. Damn, dude. So I was fortunate that I was laying back and only my hip took right. the, the force. How's your back? Uh, it sucks. The, my yeah, lower back sucks. gets pretty sore. But yeah. I, I've, I've been in the fitness world forever, so training and, and staying in shape really helps. Yep. It's like preventative maintenance for what's guaranteed to be a lot of yeah. pain in my older years. No doubt about it. The doctors were pretty real with me. Like, you're never gonna get full range of motion in your right arm, and you're probably gonna feel this Forever. in your 40s, 50s pretty quickly. Yeah. It's like, all right, well, I'm just gonna try to get ahead of it. What happened to your buddy? Was he all right? He's, <laughs> yeah. Hurt wrist and a bump on the head. Yeah, because he was on the other side of the car. Yep. I mean, he had to live with the guilt of almost killing his buddy, which that messed him up mentally pretty bad for a while. And he still had to go on the almost year long deployment. That didn't delay it. That didn't, yeah. No. Nope. My uh, my butt was benched. I was actually in the Florida Jacksonville Naval Base, the hospital over there, for the first three months of my recovery, and then I was falling back out here Damn, to finish up at the Balboa Medical Center, and then back to duty. I was gonna, you know, reenlist. Everything was looking good, but the my right leg wouldn't stop. The knee wouldn't stop dislocating, so they had to fix that, and they finally oh, said, shit. "No, you gotta go." <laughs> yeah, medical DQ or whatever. Yep. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Um. That's a bummer, man. Yeah, you know, during the time, all I could think about was getting out and, like, starting my life, basically. Yeah. But now, nearly 10 years later, there's a big part of me that wishes I was still in. Yeah. It's funny. I grew to appreciate it even more as time went by. Uh -huh. So, right now, you're just, uh, what, doing some fitness shit? And, uh... I, uh, I've been kind of messing around with a few things. This is my primary gig. Yep. I mean, rideshare is so stupid good. I started doing this in March of 2020. Uh -huh. Like right when the world was falling apart. Yep. Or at least in this car. I started in 2019 That's in other right cars. When the world fell apart. <laughs> yeah. Best time to be a driver. March 2020. All the other drivers got scared of COVID and ran away. I had actually just finished using my GI Bill to get an Associates of Science and Respiratory Therapy. I was well versed in what COVID was. Yeah. And I tried to respond to the early COVID breakouts in New York, near the really bad first Delta wave that was yeah. wiping New York out. Uh -huh. But for some reason, my contact just couldn't pitch, uh, sorry, couldn't push that paperwork through fast enough. But I ended up just doing this and making a killing. We got our second Tesla in 2020 with all the extra earnings and savings. No shit. And then for about two years, I was a mechanic again for another EV company. Before the military and kind of in the military, I was sort of just a grease monkey mechanic. Yeah. Uh -huh. Except uh, in the Navy, mostly on weapons and support equipment that carried them. And I transitioned that into working on electric vehicles with a startup called Archimoto. Yeah, I know that. This yeah. Little, kind of three wheel thing, right? Yep, yeah, exactly. Fantastic products, great experience. I was pretty much the only mechanic for the last year and a half. Did they fold? Not yet. <laughs> I don't know yeah. exactly 
what's current state is. I was let go in January when things got really, really, really bad, and uh, I've I've not been back. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't afford to because. I mean, as much as I love the company, the, the pay cut to do that work can't pay for living in California. Dude, so are you, do you still run two cars for uh, for Uber Lyft? Well, I just run this. My wife's got her Model Y, uh, but that's just hers. She'll just hers. she'll do uh, you know, DoorDash, Uber Eats if she needs some extra cash, but hasn't really had to. That's um, cool. But yeah, I'm actually hoping to, if that new Model 3 gets approved for the tax credit, the performance version, I want it so bad. A little redesign, a little, little, little freshen up too. You think it was little? It's a fully ground up, re-engineered vehicle. Yeah. Um, I actually, my my last video before the one I have going up today, I actually did a, about a thirty minute review on it. I got to drive it. Tesla was nice enough to give me the car for half an hour. Uh -huh. I was able to make a video on it, and because I I got this brand new in 2020, I've had it for four years, 150 thousand miles, 30 thousand people in and out of it. Like this thing's been amazing. But four years later now, the new Model 3 is enough of a change for me to really want to trade up. Yeah. yeah. Especially because this new performance, this is the base model we're in now. Yeah. Brand new 42,000 in 2020. It's kind of a deal, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And if that new Model 3 gets the tax credit, that means at point of sale to be about 47. For the performance. For the performance, the new Ludicrous 3. Yeah. And that, that is all contingent on it getting the tax break, or the, the right. 7,500 point of sale tax right. deduction. If it doesn't get that, I don't think I'll be able to to jump that much of oh, a you price bracket. It doesn't matter. You can go this weekend. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I just, it's all good. It tells you where to go. You go. Well, fun fact, actually. Uh, today, I just got version 12.3 of the full self-driving system. Uh -huh. And since I picked you up, it's been doing all of it. I've been watching. It's, it's This is the version that everyone's been like losing their minds about. What was that for? Huh. So how is this latest self-driving? Uh, a little early for me to say so far, because I, I just got this latest update. But this is what took it from being coded by the engineers themselves to actually being fully trained into end neural net. Yeah. Right? So like a pretty crazy change. No doubt. Uh, this drive's been pretty impressive. This is actually something that I've been wanting to see the difference in was the stop sign execution. Like, see how it handles What's this. What's Tony doing? That's yeah, going there. There we go. And then I like that this version was a little slower, maybe because it's kind of confusing for it, but it's finally got some initiative to actually leave a stop sign. Version 11 would kind of just sit, sit there, there yeah. and you're like, yo, you gotta move, like, you're yeah, gonna, you know, <laughs> let's go. Someone's behind me. And I can give it throttle to, to push it along. Uh -huh. Like I can I can goose it yeah. a little bit to say, hey, let's move. Um, but so see, far version 12 hasn't. Let's see. It's pretty crazy, dude. Isn't it? It, it really... feels like a person's driving it now which is the difference. It doesn't feel quite as machiney. Right. Let's see how it handles this. We got to navigate with another person on a tight-ish. <laughs> right, let's see. Sort of street we'll here. Actually, we might be getting to the end of it before he even comes up. We got people, we got yeah, cars. Yeah, we got everything. That's and right. it's coming through. It's coming through. Yeah. What? Boom, we're here. And we're here. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, my pleasure, man. I appreciate it. And then it's uh, top button, just hold that and push out. Oh, did it? You got it. Just got to push at the same time. All right, dude, have a nice weekend. Yeah, you take care. I couldn't have asked for a better scenario to actually have somebody who got talkative about halfway through the ride. Uh, that was a lot of fun. The only part we skipped right there was just he had a phone call, so I just we just skipped past him talking on the phone, which we really only went through like maybe two stop signs, um, in which it did a good job of actually accelerating. I might actually just leave it in and then just mute that part out of respect for the customer. Uh, I really care about privacy and customer safety and security, uh, but that was that was really good. I. I'm really excited by that first drive. I need to make sure we log it. That was about an 11 kilometer trip with a very brief highway stint. Yeah, very, very brief highway stint. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna get on to the next customer. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll catch you in the next one. Oh, hiccups.